Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. My name is Tinika, and today I'll be showing, I'll be talking about our uh, color therapy masks. So uh, we have a wide range of color therapy masks, and uh, just like the name would imply, uh, they're based on color. Um, of course, color affects our moods and emotions, so um, it only makes sense that um, we would make a mask for color therapy. So um, we have a few. We have uh, the orange color therapy mask, uh, green color therapy, violet color therapy, red color therapy, yellow color therapy, and um, with these masks, so it's, there, there's a little more to them than just color. Um, each of the different masks has different properties to address uh, your different skin needs. So um, you might look at the ingredients uh, when you're looking at these masks and choose one that's right for your skin. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use different materials to um, make your mask uh, more customized for you. So um, I'm going to start with the orange color therapy mask. Um, the orange color therapy mask uh, has all kinds of great ingredients like kaolin clay, bentonite clay, beet powder, turmeric root powder, uh, provitamin B5, and ascorbyl palmitate or vitamin C ester. So ascorbyl palmitate is, of course, the type of vitamin C that is oil soluble, so it's uh, easily absorbed by your skin. Um, as opposed to uh, the uh, other kind of vitamin C that you take internally. So um, let's just get started. And I'm simply going to add um, some of this orange color therapy to a bowl. Now you could measure all of this out to make an exact um, mask. Um, however, I am just going to show you how to reconstitute it so you can get the right texture for your mask and then you can choose how to measure it out. So now that I have the mask in the bowl, and this of course is the orange color therapy, um, which uh, with all of the ingredients in there, it's great for dry skin or mature skin or skin that is uh, less than perfect. Um, so we could uh, use banana um, and add it to the um, orange color therapy mask. So just mushing up banana into the mask. Um, or we could use tea. Um, we could use avocado. We could use honey. Um, and of course, yogurt. And I think what I'm going to do is use a combination. So let's start with yogurt. And I have some amazing um, uh, organic Greek yogurt from Nancy's here in Oregon. Grab a spoon and simply add the yogurt to my mask. I'm gonna start with this amount, kind of mix it in there. And this is probably way more mask than you need for your face. You probably only want to um, make up enough for a single use. Uh, clays are notoriously hard to preserve, so unless you wanna use um, a paraben preservative system, which we make, um, you probably need to use this mask right away. So you can see that with the yogurt, and obviously too much mask, <laughs> it gets nice and thick. And even though it says orange color therapy, it looks like it's rather pink to me. So I'm going to add a little liquid to thin it down. And I have a little uh, peppermint tea. Green tea would be a great choice. Hibiscus tea would be a great choice. Rooibos tea would be a great choice. There's a lot of options. So one thing I just noticed that I probably shouldn't be doing, metal spoon. Um, you want to be very careful when you're working with clays. You don't want to use metal. You want to use wood, glass, or plastic. So I'm going to take my metal spoon out of here and switch to a spatula. So the reason you don't want to use metal is that the clays will react with the metal and give you results that you might not be very happy with. Okay, so that's looking like a nice consistency. And what I like to do with the clays is I like to draw myself a nice warm bath and put the clay on my face and relax in the bathtub and let the clay dry on my face as I'm relaxing in the bath. 
So that looks like about the right consistency. So you want it to be um, thick, hydrated, but not too moist. And actually we could probably add just a little bit more water or tea. And there we go. That looks like about the right consistency. And so what you do, it's very simple. Um, you clean your face, of course, with your cleanser, and then just simply apply the mask to your face, um, avoiding, of course, your mouth, your nostrils, <laughs> and your eyes. Um, but apply the mask to your entire face. Don't forget your neck and your chest area. And leave it on until it dries, and simply rinse away. So there's the orange color therapy. Even though it looks a little pink, it is orange color therapy. So let's try mixing up some of the, uh, let's try the green color therapy. So green color therapy mask has um, kaolin clay, bentonite clay, DMAE, chromium oxide, and of course the ascorbyl palmitate. A little of the green color therapy here. And while I'm sitting in my bath, I think I want to enjoy um, the nice fragrance of neroli. So I'm going to use our orange blossom distillate to rehydrate this mask. And you can see that once you buy the mask, you can use a variety of different liquids. You could even use milk if you wanted to. And I'm just going to pour it in there. It looks like I probably added a little bit too much of the orange blossom, but that's okay because I think what I'd like to do is add some avocado. So I'm just going to cut this avocado open. And simply squeeze all the avocado into the mask. You're, of course, going to want to mush it up in there. And some people are opposed to putting food product on their face, but I'm not opposed at all. I think it's great. Avocado um, brings great properties. And you could even use this um, as a hair mask if you wanted to. And one of the things I really love about working with natural products is that they don't have to be perfect. So we can mush this up as best we can. And then once you're ready to apply it to your face, you can really get in there and mush it up with your fingers. Um, I don't want to do that right now, but you could certainly do that. So this mask is a little thinner than the orange therapy mask that we just did. Um, but it does have that fresh avocado. Of course, again, this is um, a mask that you want to use immediately. You don't want to store this at all. Um, it's, it's a make it fresh as you go, just because uh, clays are so hard to preserve and keep safe. Okay, and I like that consistency. And there we go. There's the green color therapy mask hydrated with uh, neroli um, distillate, orange blossom distillate, and avocado, fresh avocado. And of course, you can do this with any of the color therapy masks. Um, they're all lovely to use. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, we hope you enjoy your new color therapy masks and find interesting and fun ways to rehydrate them and use them. Uh, you can find links to all of the masks in the description of this video uh, by clicking the more button just below the video. And thanks for joining us today. <laughs>